Yo people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja, and this is HTML Basics Lesson 8, Default Browser Styles. Now, I know that I said in the last episode that we'd be covering images in this lesson, and we will very shortly. I just wanted to do a very quick lesson about default browser styles, because I know I've mentioned it a couple of times in previous tutorials. I certainly will be doing again in future tutorials. So I want to make sure that you understand 100% what I'm talking about when I say this. So it's going to be like three minutes tops and it's going to be really beneficial to know this. So I'm going to jump back over into the file that we've been working on. And here I am back in brackets and this is the HTML document that we've been working on all the way through this tutorial. It's not changed one bit since the last episode. So all I need to do is open this back up in a browser and we'll do this in Google Chrome. And there we go, we're seeing exactly the same web page that we saw in the last episode. And we can see our heading at the top, it's quite bold, and then we've got a paragraph tag, uh, tag. we've got um, a H2 here, a couple of H3s, some more paragraphs, and you can see that it's all got these, this kind of default styling to it. And when I say that, I mean that this H1 is very large and very bold, this P uh, paragraph is quite small, uh, just large enough for the user to read because it is just a paragraph. Then we've got the H2 which is slightly smaller than the H1 and then the H3 smaller again and so forth. So what this is is the browser looking at the document and it's saying okay well I've got all these different tags here. Now I want the user who is viewing this, uh, this web page to know the difference between each tag. So it's looking at the H1 and it's saying, well, this is an important heading. So I'm going to make this really bold and big, which it does. And we've got that right at the top. Then it's looking at the paragraph and it's saying, well, you know, this is just a paragraph. Um, so I'm going to make this kind of like standard size text. And it does that. And then it's looking at the H2. It's saying, well, this isn't quite as important as the H1. So I'm going to reduce that font size just a little bit. And same for the H3 and for the rest of the tags that we use. So this, you can think of this as like the, the browser having this default CSS style sheet. Um, and all these default styles within this style sheet are the things that are giving these elements the different kind of variations, the, uh, the different font sizes, the different font weights, the space in between the elements, that kind of thing. So that if there's no CSS, the user can still look at the web page and it's very readable. And Every browser has its own kind of default styles. This is Google Chrome's, um, Firefox has their own version, so does Internet Explorer and so on. However, they're all pretty much the same. There's not much that kind of varies between them. So there we go. Um, this has been default browser styles. I hope you understand that now. Um, if you don't, just give me a comment down below. I'll answer all your questions. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson where we will be doing images. See you guys then.